In this video, we're going to take a look at saving and loading games to a database. Well, there's a few different things you can do here. First of all, if you've played a game on, the, on a board and you want to enter the moves by hand into chess base, the simplest way to do that is click on the icon for board here. This will bring up a new empty board screen and allow you to enter the moves as you're going along. So let's enter a few moves just to show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so that's the first uh, three moves of a game, but it'll at least give you an idea of what I'm talking about. So let's go to the application menu and here to the option to save. There's also an option to save game as. Save game as. In this case, it won't matter which one you do. It'll bring up the familiar Windows Explorer window and ask you which database you want to save it to. So you need to navigate to a folder that contains databases. It should start you at your chess-based database folder, specified during installation. So in this case, we'll save the game to our autosave database. But you can save this to any database you like or even create a new database and save it to that. This brings up the save database, save game window. This contains a large variety of fields into which you can put player tournament information when you're saving a game. You can enter the names for the player of the white pieces and the player of the black pieces. The standard format in this case is to have surname first, as you can see there's a comma here, and have the first name or Christian name second. You can do that for the player of the black pieces, you can put in details of the tournament. You can see that Chessbase has already entered the ECO code for that particular opening. You can enter white and black play ratings, the round, and if the tournament has a sub-round system, you can enter that here too. You can enter the result, and even the date. If you've annotated the game, you can enter that information here. And the tournament details, there's a lot more information if you click the details button here. Now, how much information do you need to put into this screen? Well, the simple answer is as much as you want. There's such thing as too much information. But if you're saving a game which you're planning to distribute to other people, or that may end up in the, in the record or in a database, even if it's just a game from a local tournament, then it's best to fill out as much of the information as possible so that other people are aware of the source, the, the players, the tournament format, etc. On the other hand, if you're saving a game or position from a chess book or from a game for your own personal use, well, you don't need to be quite as thorough. Just use as much information as you need to be able to identify the source later on, should need arise. You're not required to put something in every single field of the dialogue. If you don't know the round number or the month and day a game was played, just leave the fields blank. The software will save the game anyway. The important thing is, of course, to be consistent. So if you have a player with a strange spelled surname, the tournament's name, some people call it one thing, some call it the other, the important thing is for each game you enter to keep it the same yourself. So be consistent with the information you enter. If you're working on an existing game, you're adding commentary or variations for instance, you use a different dialogue. I'll show you here. So let's say I've been working on this game from the Mega Database and I add a new variation. If we want to 
overwrite the game and keep the variation, you can go to Replace, which is under the Save menu. This means that the original game in the database will by, be replaced by the version that you just altered. And that newly altered version will appear in the same spot in the game list as the original unaltered version did. If you're saving the game in different database, you go to Save Game As. This opens up the window, the Explorer window we looked at earlier, and from here you can choose all the different databases on your machine and save it into any one you like. So there you go, there's a lot of different ways you can save a game, but be consistent, be thorough, and put in as much information as you think is necessary.